There is nothing like a relaxing facial, but there are so many choices. Now it can make you wonder which one is right for you. A mask, a microderm, mud. Here to help us out is Alina from Alina Organics in Kalamazoo and Chicago. I want to congratulate you, though, on being chosen in Chicago Magazine for one of the best facials. Best that's facial. The best facial for thousands. Yes, <laughs> I think that's absolutely wonderful. It's a testament to why we love to have you on the show and the fact that you really do know what you're doing when it comes to skin care. So you brought some... A a lot of things with you today. So tell me, what are some of the major components you need to look at when you're going to be getting a facial? You know, that's right. It's a very difficult choice because it's a stigma behind organic, natural uh, facials. Like it's not maybe working because it's relaxing, it's old fashioned. Uh, and um, people think, oh, I don't want to shoot chemicals in my face or do chemical pills, but I still want to have a result. And the whole idea of modern to 21st century organic facials, we combine the best scientific with the best organic and natural remedies. We always start with cleansing face, of course, we're using the cleansers without any chemicals, with, um, without CLS, and after the washing the face, for actually to remove uh, um, some um, makeup or some another impurities from the face, we use herbal tea. And you see, I blend different okay. herbs. And what, what is mm -hmm. the point of using the herbal tea to remove the cleanser? Uh, because we don't want to use the water when we can use the herbal tea. Uh, we get aged from inflammation and oxidation mm -hmm. and most of the herbs Actually, most of the remedies, uh, herbal remedies, have uh, anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Okay. So instead of using uh, just, just the water, we always, during the facial, using the herbal tea. And we start with vacuuming. And people sometimes start asking me, like, wow, what is that? Why do you need a vacuuming? We vacuuming the skin. The same reason for vacuuming uh, of your rug, because skin... <laughs> has many, 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 many pores. Sure. And even if we do good manual extractions, which also in the next part of the good facial, without proper vacuuming, you can't call that skin clean. And after that, sometimes, um, if it's a really congested face, we can apply detoxifying mask, and we perform all the herbal compresses over it, and do I and I will show the element of the herbal compresses. So it's, it's kind of not a one, one facial fits all. You really look at the skin what the, what the client needs and Absolutely. you adjust to it. Absolutely. That's why we have a number of wonderful products also, which I make, you know, and uh, we're choosing. And also we're mixing, actually mixing, cooking those masks um, for each client. Like for Michelle, I chose spinach, a spinach mask. mask with strawberry because she wants some skin brightening because she's been, she been exposed on this, mm -hmm. uh, to the uh, sun and she needs some anti-inflammatory calming healing okay. effect. And we're mixing that mask fresh with herbal tea so that way we don't need any chemical preservatives and nobody has the same mask and sometimes i will add like my fruit um fruit enzymes to the mask uh, i can use another additives like essential oils or herbal extracts and then we can apply that mask on the client oh nice and now a question is does that mask really nourishing the life cells? Mm -hmm. Because surface of the cell, cells, it's a dead cell. Right. The epidermis is dead cells. Not really. Right now, not really. Because it's not penetrated. And it's not transdermal mask. We just mix it from the herbs. Mm -hmm. So that's why, again, we will use a machine. And we'll use Galvanic or Ultrasonic. Um, and this is a, a actually uh, will create negatively negatively charged ions and she will hold this one and this machine oh my with heavens. negatively yeah. charged ions will deliver that into elements the of the mask into life cells okay because if we don't nourish those life cells of our skin we can't, we're not affecting skin at all okay we just like slightly exfoliating and of course part of our facials is different Pills. So in my line, I use only natural extraction, but it could be very powerful pills, and we can peel the skin, perform microderm abrasion, complete the ma uh, uh, facial also with nourishing several masks, and we use also like stone therapy to a combining, you know, historical remedies, and like I use amethyst rollers. Oh my, yeah. On the skin, and 
believe me, clients absolutely love it and you feel like, oh, what it can do? But historically, gemstones have been used for, uh, for beauty and health. We're going to be talking a lot more about skin care and uh, coming up in our Just Ask segment. So you have one more segment to go. We can answer some of the questions and hopefully wrap up some of the facial.